All right, so day one, I was let out with all the rest of the arachnids, and we immediately went to the closest source of wood, which was the Lush Cave. I quickly made a set of stone tools and then moved on looking for iron. But not long after that, something very sad happened. Do you guys want to go to the main arachnid VC now? I kind of want to chat My... here. This is kind of fun. Well, this yeah, no, I like nice. the I like the voice chat. I'm vibe yeah, with it. I'm pretty good with it. Yeah. When we're at a big VC, I can't understand anybody. Exactly. Here, I can understand like at least half the people I'm talking to. Yeah. Although we will want to make sure we know where the main base is going to be built. I have 15. I have 15. I have 16. Whoever's gonna go mining, I'm gonna join. Oh god, creeper! No, 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 no! <gasps> Wait. Okay. We died already. Did you just no, die right in front died. of me? Oh, so uh, I'm. S I'm traumatized. Somebody died right in front Furby's of me. Furby's died. Furby's died. Oh, lag. Somebody died right in front Guys, of me. Guys, I found his pickaxe. I found his remains. It's right here. Oh. Poor guy. Well, I think he might have saved me. Yeah. <laughs> he took the creeper <laughs> in, so the creeper didn't target me. Aw, <laughs> uh, someone, someone sacrificed themselves? Not intentionally. <laughs> oh, well, no. Uh -huh. After that, I quickly made a shield so I didn't suffer the same fate as poor Furby's. Then, I basically just went mining for iron for a while, so that I could get full iron armor. I gave away a few shields on the way, just to keep other people safe, as I didn't want anyone to go out the same way Furby's did. Once I got full iron, I spent a little bit more time mining, then I went to the surface to try and find some food. Now this was going to be difficult, as arachnids can only eat meat, meaning that our dietary options are fairly limited. I eventually found a less than savory snack, but at least it'll keep me alive for a bit longer. I also met up with this guy, who was searching for food as well, so we kind of just traveled together for a little while until we got back to civilization. Yeah, well, we pick up the meat. Or is that a player? I can't tell. Oh, it's a player, not a zombie. My inventory was full, that's why I wouldn't let me pick up the meat. Gotcha, okay. I thought that was the zombie over there because of the blue shirt, but it's a player. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, let's go kill it. <laughs> My apologies, I thought you were a zombie. Honest mistake. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, let's see. Bro, these trunks not loading is gonna give me a seizure. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty bad. Oh, let's see, where else should we hunt for food? So I guess we should just keep looking for string. On the way, we came across another small group of players. Hello, people! I should probably There's set up people. a chest. To put some of these I was at half a heart, and I was dying, but now I'm pretty confident. Hello! Hi. We talked for a little bit, and I made one of them a shield. While this was going on, Logan, that guy I met earlier, he went on ahead, so I guess he got tired of waiting. I'm getting a shield in that moment. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I got back to spawn just in time to hear the plans for the group. Hey guys, we found a fish lake down under or underground. Officially, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, it's a fish lake. It's got a whole diet. bunch of fish in it. We're planning on moving this, all of this, down there. It's safe and it's uh, good for us to set up a real base. Okay, I'll start oh, cool. Who can lead us there? Okay, yeah, but yeah. I gotta take my chicken. Everybody, everybody, we're going to the lake. Let's move. Oh, all right. I have the chickens yes, in the back so we can. So the whole group went on to the new base location. However, our chicken keeper got quickly left behind because of the slowness of her flock. And now I can't stress how important the chicken keeper was and her chickens because the arachnids can only eat meat. Our basic only two sources of food were fish and chicken. So it was vital that all of these chickens made it to the new base location. 
Because of that, I decided to stay behind with her to protect her and her flock. While we were traveling, I made an amazing discovery. I found some diamonds it just exposed to air. These diamonds had been missed by every single player who had gone through this cave to the new base. Not only that, but it was an 8 vein. I decided to use the 8 diamonds to make a diamond chest plate, as that seemed like the best decision at that moment. We traveled through this huge lush cave for a while, with me fighting off the occasional skeleton and not much else happening. However, we did end up meeting back up with Logan and another player, who had been lost and separated from the main group, so they decided to join us. One shield for you. Eventually, we decided to make a place to camp, as the server was about to close for the day. We spent the rest of the time we had that day on gearing up, breeding the chickens, and making the camping spot a little more comfortable, along with discussing what we should name our little group. We also discussed some of our fears with each other, including the possibility of an attack from the overly violent Shroomites, or some of our own kind even turning against us. Also the fact that the server's lag had been getting progressively worse the entire day. But even with these fears looming over our heads, we were all so excited to have survived the first day, and we were so glad to have found people to do it with. People who shared our goals of being peaceful and working together. And just like that, day one ended.